Hey. This is the largest plow that was ever built, to my knowledge. It is a DMI 21 bottom plow, and right here is the number. It's a, it's a 9,000 series, and that's nine zero, and for 21 bottoms, and the serial number right there is zero, it's one, and it's the only one that was ever made. And this was made as a 21 bottom. It wasn't plows put together to make 21 bottom. It was built as a 21 bottom plow. By who? Bill Dietrich. And he was the, in the, comp, the DMI company? He owned DMI. He, he was the owner. And in the blizzard of 78, people couldn't come to work, so he went to his basement and drew up the framework, this entire plow, in, in one, one day. During that snowstorm, right? During this blizzard of 78. This and is then not. In 78, he took it to the progress show, and that's where it was first plowed so behind a Steiger Tiger. People say, Don, I think that's just somebody that bolted three seven bottom plows together. No. Nope. But you're saying it's not. No, this is. Uh, this was made as 21 bottom, right from the factory. And other people say, no, I think there were three of those made. No. So one. But you're saying there were two 18s or something? No, there were. There were only one of these. There was talk that they were going to build five. There are all kinds of rumors out there. Where's his name? Did we pass it? Yeah, it's right back here. I had Bill sign it at the plow day when he came to watch it. Because when I first called Bill, he couldn't believe it was still out there. And he was, he was pretty excited. So he came to the plow day at Alberton and I asked him if he would sign it. So he signed it and dated it. Right in front of you, right? Yep, right by his where you the measurement. I'll be done. But he built it in 78 and then they took it. And then he said he had not seen it since 78 because it was sold and went up to Fargo, North Dakota area. And that's the last he saw of it. And it actually got pulled behind that versatile Big Roy at first. Really? Yes. It, the, the versatile Big Roy pulled this plow for the first fall season, but it, it, it didn't do as good as what the big bud would do. They bought, they got, they didn't buy the versatile big Roy. They bought a big bud and they pulled it with a big bud 525 from then on. So Larry's, Larry's 650 pulled this in North Dakota? No. No. The 525 that I have pulled it, but the original owners had a different 525 and they had fluid in the duals and the inside tires and they,